Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do a swipe and I'm reusing a canvas that I had done a painting on and I didn't like it. So <laughs> um, it's been a while since I did a swipe on my channel. So I thought I would do one and kind of show you guys the procedure. So these paints are um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics and then also Deco Art um, metallic paints that I'm going to be using today. They're all mixed with Floetrol and water. There's no silicone in here. In the paints themselves, there's no silicone. So for a swipe, you don't, there's no specific method. You know what I mean? There's not like you can do stripes. You can do kind of a random pattern like I'm doing here. Um, you can do negative space and then color and swipe over the negative space or vice versa. So there's a lot, a lot of different techniques. Um, this is metallic purple. And you can swipe with a color or you can just swipe. Today we're going to just swipe. And then I'm adding a little bit of bronze in here. And basically I just want to get full coverage on the canvas. The cool thing about swipes is if there's a painting you do and you're not sure if you like it or you don't like it and you're thinking about scraping it off your canvas, you can actually swipe it first to see how that looks because sometimes that can just give you something totally awesome and that's with any technique like even if you did a, a tree ring or a flip cup or anything, swiping can save it. Or if you don't like it after the swipe, you can then go ahead and scrape it off. <laughs> All right, so for now we have our paints on here, as you can see, in a pretty random pattern. I'm going to put a little more down this direction. I just want to make sure that the canvas is fully covered because after my swipe, I don't want to have to try to cover any spots. So there we go, we've got full coverage. Now what we're swiping with today is a paper towel. You can swipe with just about anything, like a paint scraper tool with cardboard, all kinds of things. And as I said, there's no silicone in here. I find that the swipe technique does work best with silicone, but I don't like adding silicone to my paints. So what we're gonna do is I'm using some of this Artist Loft silicone oil mainly because I don't know where my other silicone is, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the paper towel here. You can also just, of course, mix it into your paints, but I find this is a way to get silicone on there without putting it actually in your paint. So I put silicone, make sure I got enough. Really only a few drops on here, I'm just spreading it out. And then what we're gonna do is take the paper towel and gently set it down on the edge here. We wanna make sure that it's fully touching. You'll see the paint will soak through. Now without pushing it down or anything, you're going to gently, oh so gently, pull across your canvas. And you can do that in any way you want. I just did straight. You could go in waves. You can do a swipe on just a, a little part of it. You can do anything. You can start from the middle and come out. A lot of people do that because it can create some really cool reflections. Now I'm going to just torch this because I'm curious if that will help create more cells here. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, I'm not sure if that particularly did anything or not, <laughs> but that is literally the simplicity of the swipe technique. Probably the most difficult part is um, not scraping all the paint off because you need to just be pretty gentle with it. I even got a little too much off on this side for my liking, but you know, it happens. It is not the easiest technique to get down perfectly but it's a pretty fun one. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So starting on the lower right hand corner, you'll see we got 
all kinds of cells and lacing in here. And how you add the silicone will give you different cell patterns. So if you add the silicone directly to the colors themselves, if you add silicone just to the swipe color, um, you can add, all, you can do all kinds of things. I just thought this was fun way to get silicone in there without mixing it into my paints. So I will go ahead and I'll get the edges all touched up, but definitely pretty cool there. And this can easily be used for a background um, or, you know, if you like the painting itself, just a painting itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't tried a swipe yet, go ahead and give it a go. It's not as scary as it seems. Um, let me know what your favorite swipe technique is if you have a favorite. And I will see you all next time.